What's up everyone, welcome back. This week we're going to talk about turning this picture into this picture using fractal noise on Photoshop. Let's go. Hey guys, if you're new around here, my name's Om and I make videos every Monday at 3pm now. Not 12 o'clock, 3pm. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss a video. Let's set the timer. Think this will be under one minute. Let's go. Okay, in Photoshop, load your image. Once you have that duplicated, and move it into place and change the blend mode to soft light. From there, add a mask by hitting this button at the bottom here. Using the paintbrush, paint out the bits that you don't need, like the sharp edges here, her shoulder, her vest top, all of that stuff, get rid of it. Once you're happy with the results, duplicate the layer and move it into place underneath. Again, use a brush tool to paint out anything that you don't want. Remember to highlight the mask in the layer to make sure you're actually erasing stuff and not painting colors in. All this is doing is blending the layers in on top of the original image and then painting out the bits that you don't need, creating the fractal filter effect that we're looking for. Repeat this however many times you want, however many times you want to surround the person. I'm going to create a new group and drag and drop all these layers into it. Then duplicate these layers and place them outside of the group. This is just a step that I like to do. Feel free to skip this step. But next, highlight the duplicated rows outside the group, right click and click on merge layers. This will merge it into one layer. From there, click on filters, blur and Gaussian blur. Change the blur to the amount you need. Note here, if you go too high, if you go too high with the blur, you get rid of the image. I'm going to stick to around 24 and hit OK. Honestly, that's it. How simple was that? And I think that was under a minute, over a minute. Don't, don't count. Don't time it for me. So the reason I came across these pictures is because I was Googling some ideas for this video and I happened to just come across it. And I came across Maria Williams photography. Now she does these awesome fractal photography shots. This is all done in camera and not in Photoshop. She has a breakdown on her channel. Be sure to go over after this video and have a look how she took these pictures and broke it down. Thanks for everything guys. I hope you enjoy the new time. Smash like button if you like this. Hit the subscribe button. And as always, stay inspired.